there was a Jew who was a Christian who wrote a book to the Romans in about the year 60. He had previously talked to the thinking people in Greece near the Acropolis at Mars Hill. And what did he say to the people of his generation, the thinking people? He said, your worldview does not explain the existence of the universe or its form. And it does not explain the uniqueness of man. Your thought form does not explain those things. And yet, you refuse, you suppress that which does give an answer to both the existence of the universe and its form and the uniqueness of man. Let me quote from the letter which he wrote. The retribution of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which is known is evident within them. And here he's talking about the unique mannishness of man. Man is different from non-man. Because that which is known of God is evident within them. For God made it plain to them. For the invisible things of him since the creation of the world are clearly seen, being perceived by the things that are made. And here he's talking about the universe and its form. For the invisible things of him since the creation of the world are clearly seen, being perceived by the things that are made, even his eternal power and divinity, so that they are without excuse. He says that the universe and its form and the uniqueness of man speak without conflict, giving the same message that the Bible gives in greater detail. And we must say to the humanist man of our own day the same thing as he said to the thinkers of his day. Humanist man demanding to begin autonomously from himself has no answer uh, for the existence of the universe and its form or for the uniqueness of man. And yet they reject the answer that really gives an answer. That this God exists and he's not been silent but has spoken in the Bible and through Christ has indeed as a central message that people may approach freely to God on the basis of the work of Christ. But it carries many other things with it. And for this series of studies uh, to which we are now coming to a close, the most important thing is to remember those titanic freedoms uh, which it has given to us, without these freedoms leading to chaos. And this is our hope for the future. It is either this or an imposed order. People act upon the basis of what they think. The problem is not outward things. The problem is having the right worldview and acting upon it. The worldview that gives men and women the truth of what is.